Cause y'all feel never gon' change You don't know ass nigga that be the gang Same nigga I used to be Fried niggas get used to me Dead man if you fool with me Say that for your eulogy Yo what is going on y'all it's your boy Bell and we are back with another Mobile Legends video And real quick I want you all to drop that thumbs up and subscribe Make sure you really drop that thumbs up because this is going to be a video that I don't think anyone has done in the Mobile Legends community before. Now I think this is going to be a really unique and interesting video because we're going to talk about something that not many people talk about at all. So you all told me to talk about team comps and synergies and I think this is a topic that really needs to be spread. And also if you don't know this, when you drop a thumbs up, it helps share, share the video around and spread awareness um, more across the community. So if you get tired of people picking like bad picks and heroes that have no synergy and stuff like that, then yeah, make sure you go ahead and drop that thumbs up on the video. You'll definitely, you definitely won't regret it. Um, but anyway, let's jump straight into it, man. So they so mad that I can't lose. Came up and I stayed true. Fraud niggas, I'm faithful. Still doing shit that they can't do. You know, yeah. you know I yeah. won't lose. Yeah. Throughout this video, we're going to take two different team comps. We're going to take a team comp with Alucard and Alduis, and we're going to find Synergy for it. So if you don't know what Synergy is, Synergy is basically um, heroes that complement one another, heroes that work well together, heroes that work work really, really well together. Because, like, like here's an example. If you have, your, you have your left arm, one hero is your left arm, one hero is the right arm. Your left arm and the right arm, when you're trying to punch somebody in the face, for instance, those two work well together, right? But imagine if you had two left arms, then sometimes you could get in each other's way. Like so, that a good example of heroes that get in each other's way. If you have two heroes or, or three hero, three or four heroes that need the purple buff, it's only two purple buffs on your side. So either you're gonna have to invade the whole game to try and get a purple buff for two heroes, or two heroes are gonna go the whole game without a purple buff, which means that team comp does not work because they don't have any synergy because you're just you're just getting in each other's way basically um so that's an example of not having synergy at all now we're going to come up with ways to have synergy when it comes to alucard and alduis so in the comment section before you hear my explanation what i want you to do is actually write down below how would you make alucard and alduis work in a team comp today in mobile legends like right now how would you make alucard work so here's my idea for synergy Here's the team comp right now. So this is going to be important later on when we get to Alduis. So let me just explain this to you. If you don't know the way the lanes are structured in Mobile Legends right now, we're in what's called the 2-2-1 or the 1-2-2, however you want to say it. You have one person in a solo lane, you have two people in the mid lane, and you have two people in a turtle lane. So that that's basically the way the um, lanes are set up right now. That's the laning phase for Mobile Legends. <clears throat> that so this is how we're gonna um set up the team for Alucard. We're gonna have Alucard, Diggy, Nana, Granger, and Gatak Kacha. Now let's 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 break down this synergy a little bit. <clears throat> Alucard is gonna be the mid laner. Diggy is gonna be the mid lane support. Nana is gonna be the solo laner. Granger is gonna be the turtle lane, and um Gatak is gonna be the ADC support with Granger. So um <clears throat> basically. Nana, if you don't know this, Nana is strong enough to handle the solo lane by herself. Um, she can transform and she also has that ultimate that stuns the crap out of people. <clears throat> but also these picks, notice how all these picks work. Like, would you, can you all agree that these picks can kind of work in their, like, how they are? Like, with, with Nana in the solo lane, she could do a decent job protecting it as long as, like, there's rotations coming to help and stuff like that. Um... Alucard and Diggy, yeah, if anybody gets too close to Alucard, Diggy could use his second ability, trap him. So yeah, they could defend mid pretty well, right? Um, and Alucard does do a bunch of damage when it comes to farming and stuff. He can farm fast and all that. Um, <clears throat> Granger and Gatot, obviously Granger and any tank really works decent. So these, they're, they're all really good in their own lanes. But what can they do together? This is where it gets interesting. So check this out, y'all. When it comes down to Alucard, what's his biggest weakness? His biggest weakness, right, is his is getting stunned. Like, that's why he doesn't fit into the meta right now. He does a ton of damage, but he can be easily stopped if he gets hit with crowd control. Why is he roaming with Diggy as a mid lane support? What does Diggy ultimate do? 
His ultimate makes it so crowd control can't hit you. So Alucard, if Alucard dives somebody and Diggy hits his ultimate, there is absolutely nothing that somebody could do to Alu to stop Alucard. You try to hit Alucard with CC while Diggy's around, that's that's a that's a lost cause. So Alucard and Diggy, that synergy right there, that synergy alone is insane. Now, what what can Nana do for Alucard? Because this this team comp is all about making an Alucard pick work. What can Nana do for Alucard? <clears throat> Nana can transform anybody who tries to get close to him. She can transform one person and she can use her ultimate and stun. She can transform you and stun you on top of that transform. That's what Nana can do. Then you got Granger. What can Granger do? Alucard can jump in the middle of a group of people and deal a ton of damage to him. Granger can shoot at that group of people from the back line and put a bunch of damage into him with his ultimate. Granger's ultimate, like you all have probably been hit with a Granger ultimate one or two times before, so you know what that does. So imagine getting hit with a Granger ultimate and then getting slashed by a freaking Alucard. So that combo by itself, that could be dangerous. As long as Alucard don't get hit with um, crowd control, those two heroes, they have pretty decent synergy as well. Then Gatot. If a team tries to dive Alucard and Gatot dives on top of them, he knocks them up and then he has an ability that forces enemies to focus on him and not focus on his teammates. So he takes a lot of pressure off of Alucard. So all these heroes together, think about that. All these heroes together makes Alucard, these guys supercharge Alucard. They supercharge Alucard. So Alucard, let's say Alucard dives in. They, they thinking about hitting him with some crowd control. They try to they try to hit him with crowd control. They, ha ha, oh, this is Alucard. This, this is GG. He trash. Then, uh-oh, you can't hit him with crowd control because Diggy, Diggy just freaking hit his ultimate. And then Nana comes up, transforms somebody, and she stuns one of your teammates. Granger is on the back line sending shots. And Gatak comes in, dashes on the whole team, knocks them, and then forces them to attack him. Listen to that combo right there. Now, obviously, it comes you you're as a team. Now, this is this is the tough part. In theory, this team comp works perfectly. But how can you pick the fights? How can you force the enemies to get into the best positions for you all to really utilize this team composition? That's when it comes down to the skill of the players. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be perfect. This is just something that I threw together. Just to, like this is this is a sort of an idea of how you make synergy. This is the things that you have to think about. Who do you want to be one of the primary focuses of damage on your team? You want that to be Alucard? Okay, how can you make Alucard stronger? And we just get I just gave you four heroes who make Alucard stronger, and they can also do their own jobs. They can they can protect their lanes. They can like they can do their jobs. So they're good with with or without Alucard. But when they come and combine themselves with Alucard. They make Alucard so much better. So that's synergy. When you pick heroes that make each other better, that makes the team as a whole better. Heroes that can work together very, very well. So um, yeah, that's Alucard. Now, let's think back to how the lanes are set up. I told you the laning right now is, a, is the one 2 2 or the 2 2 1, however you look at it. We're all doers. I would throw I would throw this into a 1 3 1. So we're gonna have one solo laner, three in the middle, and then another solo laner on the other side. So check it out. In this team composition, to make Alduis work, I will go with Alduis, obviously, Hayabusa, Grok, Harith, and Kacha. Now, you might be wondering why. We, we're not gonna have a marksman this time around. Alduis late game. Marksmen are late game and Alduis is late game. So Alduis basically is going to be the marksman. So that, that's basically um <clears throat> the logic there. So Alduis can take his time to get his stacks up. What is Hayabusa going to be doing? Hayabusa is going to be putting a ton of pressure on his lane. Hayabusa is really fast at clearing waves. He clears waves, pushes his tower forward, and then he rotates sometimes and helps in the mid lane. Or he rotates with the mid lane people. So imagine, if you got three people in the mid lane, Hayabusa clears his lane super fast, then rotates to the mid lane. You now have four people in the mid lane. So the enemies has to deal with uh, four people, which means that they're probably going to have to bring four people there. And then Hayabusa can come into the fight, help a lot, and then just go right back to split pushing his tower. So Hayabusa with that split push is going to be super, super annoying. Super annoying. So obviously, 
Hayabusa alone being that annoying, it takes a little bit of attention off of Alduin. Like, if, if Hayabusa is really destroying these turrets, if he's invading the enemy's jungle, if he's helping mid lane, he's really causing a nuisance. So Hayabusa gives great um, synergy with Alduin by buying him a lot of time. Then you have Grok, Harith, and Kacha mid. Think about that. Kacha grabs somebody, so he instantly takes them out of commission. One person is out of commission. Then with Harith there, that person, whoever Kacha grabs is dead. Like, Harith is going to destroy that person easily. Um, and then Harith is also kind of tanky. So it's going to be hard to stop him. Like, you're not going to kill Harith easily. So with this team, comp, you have Grok, who can do a lot of damage. And then he can hit his ultimate, do even more damage. If you have the um little, what's that, the spell that deals even more damage, like, that's a lot of damage. You have to try to stop a Grok, Harith, and Kacha. Let's say Hayabusa doesn't rotate and help the mid lane. That mid lane right there could probably take on five people by themselves. Like, a five-man team, Grok, Harith, and Kacha could probably take on a five-man team because the first second of the fight, Kacha instantly, he, he evens the odds. He grabs one of them. They, they all just burst him down instantly. So now they, they turn that 5v3 into a 3v4. So now, basically, like, like you see what I'm saying here, basically? And then you have these three mid lane. They're invading into the enemy's jungle. They're in, they're um, rotating down bottom to help Hayabusa. So it's like, they like Hayabusa rotates mid lane to help them. They rotate bottom lane or whatever to help Hayabusa. It's just constantly them, them working together, invading and killing the enemies and trying to push towers and push lanes. So basically with a team comp like that, that takes basically all the pressure off Alduis. Whoever is in Alduis lane, that's honestly probably going to force them to even have to go and help. Because with a team comp like this, Hayabusa, Grok, Harith, and Kacha, those, they, they can kill. They can literally slay out. So yeah, that's why I would do the 1-3-1 with this one here. Um, cause I think that, yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense, but let me know what you all think about that. Let me know, let me know how you feel about that. And also, yeah, this is, this is something that you got to think about. You got to think about, okay, maybe sometimes you can switch up the strategies. You don't always got to go two, two, one. You could do one, three, one. You could do three, one, one. That used to be a strategy like some years ago. That was, that was a thing. Three, three, one, one. But now um, the mid lane is the most important lane. So that's why you would put three in the mid lane more so than either one of the side lanes. And also the two side lane heroes can handle themselves. Um, but yeah, the, like this is this is basically what synergy is. You find heroes that complement the hero that you want to make work. Alduis, his biggest weakness is that he needs time. So what do you do to solve that problem? You get a bunch of heroes who can buy him a lot of time. They can they can they can give an enemy team hell until Alduis is fed. And then by the time Alduis is fed, it's just over with at that point. It's over with. So this team is built to give Alduis time, and the Alucard team was built to just boost him. They 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 um, made it so he couldn't get hit by crowd control, and they took a lot of pressure off of him. So basically, synergy is using heroes to cover up your your hero's weaknesses. But um yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Definitely let me know if you would tweak my squads a little bit and change it a little bit here and there and add someone else in you think will work well. Let me know if you would have someone completely different. Um, yeah, completely different. Also, if you want this to become like a little series or something, like let me know in the comment section as well where we where we take a random hero and come up with random team comps to make them work. Because I think this is actually fun to do. This is really, really, this is a really, really fun video. Thinking about how you take heroes that's quote unquote not meta and make them work with a meta team. So yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'ma catch y'all on the next one, fam. Peace out, y'all. I'm on it. Can't fail for my family, I want it. So they'll never know.